Mom, that sweeping is loud. <laughs> hey guys, so welcome back to well, yeah, my. Yeah, people tell me I sweep up your apartment. You should not shame. No, I'm not. I don't know why you're doing this. <laughs> welcome back to my channel, guys. Um. It hasn't been long. I'm trying to be consistent. Let's not talk about it. So I'm going to be giving you guys 30 things that I've learned since being, since being, since being this age. I'm also going to be doing my makeup. So it's like a get ready with me chit chat. I guess you should just get right into it. I don't want to say this one because my mom is here. Mom, can you go so I can tell? It's nothing bad. I was just going to say. Forget it, I'm not saying it. Save your money and invest. This is something that I wish I did better as a younger person. You know when you're young, you first get your job and maybe you just finished high school, like saving is not priority because you're spending your money and you're getting the stuff that you could never you know, get before. I honestly suggest if it's possible not to move out of your parents' house if you guys can like live with each other and get along, you know what I mean? Stay there for as long as you can and save your money. Over 10 years, if you just save $20 a month, that's 2,400 and who knows what you might wanna do with that. This is what I was gonna say, now that my mom's gone, I can say it. I was gonna say, listen to your parents. I would never let my mom hear me say that, okay? They um, are hell of annoying. Sometimes they don't explain why they think the way they think and they don't give a reason why they're saying it but they've been alive for more years than you've been alive. They've seen all sorts of things and experienced things, right? So when they're saying stuff, it's not just because they're annoying, which they are. Obviously, parents will always be parents and they'll be annoying and they just want you to do things their way. But think about their perspective and see if you can kind of decipher what it is they're really trying to say. You know what I mean? Just say, all right, mom, dad, I hear what you're saying. Let me think. And maybe I'm saying that because I'm a parent and I would like my children to listen to me because any advice I'd have to give them, it's it's because I know what I'm saying and I know what I'm talking about. So hopefully they'll listen to me. This one's kind of funny because I'm not saying not to go to school, but I'm saying don't go to school until you have an idea of what it is you want to do. I went to school for, for um, social service work and not because I was oh so interested in it, my mom was like, you can't live here unless you go to school or something. <laughs> if you do decide to go to school, let it be for something that you're passionate about or something that you're genuinely interested in. I feel like school is a part of that whole systematic thing, you know? They make you take out a loan, they make you go to school, and half the time, you don't actually utilize any of the skills that you were learning in school. But they took your money though, and you spent all those years being confused just to wind up working at McDonald's when it's all over. Not that there's anything wrong with working at McDonald's. Take a year off from high school and think about what it is you wanna do. This is where your parents will be telling you not to listen to me. They don't care what they go to school for. They just want them to go to school. You have to go, which was me. Don't get pregnant. Yeah, this seems pretty self-explanatory, but I kind of feel like for some reason, people still be getting pregnant and it's crazy. There's so many like ways to not get pregnant. Yeah, don't get pregnant. I'm, I mean, I love my children and all that jazz. I definitely wouldn't advise my child to go and get a baby or have a baby without being sure and all that type of stuff. So don't get pregnant unless you're trying to get pregnant or unless you're ready. It all looks like fun and games online and ish, but having a child is, is not all fun and games. It's a lot of responsibility and it's lots and lots of work. So avoid it if you can, please. Get to know your family and relatives. I've been to Jamaica a couple times and I've met like some of my extended family and I loved getting to know them. I know a lot of my mom's side because they're here in Canada, but I, I've never really gotten to know my dad's side of the family. So that was um, really interesting for me and I enjoyed getting to know them. And some of them are older, so I mean, God forbid they die, but at least I met them. And it's good to know your relatives because you do not want to end up dating your brother or your sister because you didn't know. Like who knows? Who knows? Or your cousin. Definitely find out who your family is. You know, it's good to know. Spend money on yourself. There are a lot of people out there who take pride in taking care of other people or like their kids or their spouse or their family members, but don't put all that effort into taking care of their own self. 
go to the spa, get some massage or special treatment. Eat somewhere special every once in a while. You only live once, you know? You know? Get your credit right. That is so important, guys, honestly. From a young age, my mom has actually been instilling in me to ensure that my credit is good and she scared me into doing it. And so I've always been like conscious of my credit. So right now I use um, Credit Karma and it's free and you can ch keep track of your credit and you'd be surprised. Like, And the thing about credit, it's another system to keep you down, okay? I believe in systems. So you have to go along with the system, you know? Because you can't beat the system, right? You're gonna need credit if you want more out of life sooner or later. You're gonna need it one day. Trust me, you're gonna need it. Throw out things that you don't actually need. I've been keeping things that I don't use or wear or actually need, and it's just taking up room in your house. General rule of thumb is if you haven't used it in six months, they say just get rid of it. Don't start being a hoarder. Just get rid of the thing, and if you really need it again, buy it again. Let's get rid of it. I just learned this like literally one year ago, two years ago. Eat healthy. It sounds so self-explanatory. Your body's not gonna break down and process foods the way it did when you were like 19 years old. God, I miss those days. It takes time to develop healthy eating habits. Your body will thank you for it. It will thank you. Learn to cook. Eventually, one day you will need to cook. I mean, I don't even have to cook because I live here with my mama, praise the Lord. Once upon a time I lived on my own and thank God I knew how to cook up a little one too. So that I wasn't having to live at fast food restaurants and all that. Learn to cook. Don't rush to get into a relationship. I don't even know if I felt like this when I was younger. I didn't have much of a youth. <laughs> I think sometimes people feel like, or young people feel like, they can't be single or something. And if you don't feel that way, good for you. But there are people who feel like, oh, you know, um, I need to be with someone or whatever. Um, don't rush it, you know, because you might not be in the one that you want to be in. Yeah. So I'm using this NARS foundation. This is the only thing I'm really going to tell you about. So this is the Radiant Long Wear Foundation. Frig, NARS is the best. Like, I love, love, love NARS. Lately, I've been wearing Fenty. I guess because I bought it, I was just using it because I had it or whatever. NARS is my favorite, hands down. It is expensive, but this is just something that, as I said before, spend money on yourself. Choose your friends wisely. I have a lot of experience with this. I've had a lot of friends come and go. Sometimes you might feel like, oh, we have to be friends because, oh, I've known you since however long. Or we went to high school together. But sometimes being in high school with friends, so it seems like you have to be friends or it makes sense for you to be friends in high school. So the same high school person you might have known in high school, they're not the same person now, obviously, right? And if a relationship is not working for you, I'm not confrontational. I might not say upfront my problems with you, right? And you don't have to make it a thing, right? Sometimes friendships are not always meant to be forever friendships, and that's fine. You know what I mean? God puts people in and out of your life. They serve the purpose or they serve the the need at the time, right? And that's God's plan for you, you know? God's plan. So don't feel down or sad that, oh, my friend from high school, we're not friends anymore. You know, God has his plan and he knows what he's doing, so. And of course you want friends that'll be there for the long term. Keep up with your friends. I have people that I really genuinely love as friends, but we don't talk all the time. And we've been friends for years, like friends that I have from high school. Why don't we connect? Like have lunch or call and find out how they're doing, you know? Their friendship's still there, it's just that we don't like communicate often enough. It sounds so weird, but I admire white people because they get together like they just have little house parties they just have gatherings so they can spend time together and i want to be like that and i want to start doing that with my friends like getting them together with me and at my house or picnic it's usually a birthday party or a wedding or funeral but um i'm going to make an effort as a person like myself to um, have a reason to get together with the people who I do call my friends. And my birthday party, my birthday dinner was amazing. I couldn't believe how happy I was, like, you know? So keep up with your friends. 
Be good to those who are good to you. Sometimes we end up treating people who don't necessarily mean that much to us better than people who do mean a lot to us. And sometimes, I don't know why that is. Comment down below if you know what I'm saying, you know? If my parents ask me to drive them somewhere, imagine I were to get annoyed about that, but someone else, you know, says they want to drive somewhere and I'm not as annoyed. That's not fair, you know? My parents are good to me, so I feel like if there's anyone who I should be jumping for joy to do anything for, it would should be my parents. But for some reason, people lose sight of what other people mean to them and, you know, don't put them where they should be on that level. But you should. Cherish the time that you have with your kids. I'm saying that from experience because um, there's a lot you guys don't know about me still and it's still a secret and I'll tell you one day but when I had like Naomi I was just in this hustly mode and I was always like worried about the future and trying to build a future for her and like Andrew like my family you know what I mean and in doing that I feel like I didn't spend the type of time that I would have liked to with Naomi as a little girl, like, you know? And I feel really sad about that. I just don't even know what I was thinking. And it's like something I only notice looking back and I can't get that time back with her. Now, things have slowed down with Jordan. I feel like I'm more cherishing his little baby stage. I just wish that I was able to like slow down and cherish those moments with Naomi because now she's nine and now she's as tall as me, you know? There's obviously still time for her and I to spend time together, bond and all that jazz. But I wish I was slowed, I wish I was slower like when she was little. And now, you know, can't turn back the hands of time. So remember that guys, remember that. Take lots of photos. I don't even know why I have this on here because this is the digital age. Y'all selfie everything you do. Y'all pee, y'all poo, it's on, it's on camera. Yeah, yeah, eat, y'all sleep. Like, I feel like I should say stop taking pictures. That's what I should, that's the advice I should give you guys. Stop taking pictures. Don't stay in relationships you're not passionate about. So a lot of the time, you've been in the long-term relationship and the passion's not there anymore, but maybe you feel like, oh, I have to stay because it's been so long already. So, you know, if you're not truly happy, don't stay in a relationship you're not truly happy with. Right? That seems self-explanatory, but you know, again, your youth is a lot of years and you don't want to spend your youth being not happy or being in something that, you know, you're not passionate about being in, you know? I'm sorry, I can't talk during this. I did my my winged eyeliner and uh, my lashes. Love it. I'm doing my makeup pretty quickly though, considering I'm talking or whatever. Really, it only takes me 30 minutes to do my makeup. Like, I don't know what other people be doing. Well, it does take me 30 minutes, like, it does take me 30 minutes, okay? Drink more water. That's pretty self-explanatory. But again, I didn't drink any water until the last two years ago. Like, I didn't drink any water at all. Like, I only drank Fruitopia juice, only. <sighs> Do interesting things locally. So this is something I haven't yet, you know, done. I think people, or even I, are under the impression that I, I can only plan to have fun in another country when there's lots of things to do right around you you just have to look buy from brands that you feel are meaningful obviously we use these big name brands that are in the stores in your grocery store and you're getting the same product probably a better quality product coming from a smaller you know business person or a smaller business try to like spread the wealth you know it's up to us to make a difference in the change you want to see in the world you know this is for the ladies and, and maybe some guys too. Have one clutch wig. Like this wig right here is actually gonna be my clutch long hair, straight hair wig. Who comes there? Close the door, please. But I've been wearing it for a couple weeks. I have never washed it, not even once. I've been wearing it for like three weeks and it's still doing great. I'm loving this hair, I'm loving this wig. This frontal, I barely had to tweeze. I mean, it's not a hair video right here, guys, but I'm just saying, this is a clutch wig. I can depend on it. So um, I'll leave the information about this hair in the description box. They also have a coupon code. I also did a hair review on the hair as well, if you guys wanna check it out. 
but I'm not trying to promote the hair on purpose. I'm really just saying this hair to me is clutch and I have decided I'm just gonna have one clutch wig, but you guys need one clutch wig. Try not to finance a car. I just financed a car um, last, uh, in the last six months. I still enjoy my purchase, but I still feel like, man, I could have saved and probably got something smaller for the time being. But I still enjoy my per my 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 car. But young people, as soon as y'all get working at McDonald's, y'all financing all this stuff, getting credit cards, cashing out, cashing out, it's all fun and games. Until spend time with yourself, like alone, without your phone. It is so hard. And that's part of the reason why I haven't been productive as I know I should be. It's this stupid phone. It's honestly the devil. Every minute I just look into it and then I start scrolling on Instagram and bam, 10 hours of my life down the drain. Definitely have that alone time. Read books. This is not something I actually do. It's something I wanna start doing. Just comment down below if there are any good books that you guys have read that you would suggest to me. Learn how to change a car tire. A car tire? Find a charity that is meaningful and donate. Travel. Travel the world, get to know the world around you, and um, you know, introduce yourself to some new experiences. Definitely something you should do. Don't buy all cheap clothes. So this hits a chord with me because I'm the type of person, as long as it looks the same or it achieves the look, why not just buy it? It's $4 or $5. And you buy the same shirt 14 times for $5. Well, five times 14 is, it's a lot of money. Be yourself, okay? It's harder to keep up a lie. It's harder to pretend. You can't keep that up forever. I mean, you can do it for a little bit, but after a while, it's gonna be like, you're gonna forget how to be this fake thing you've been being. Just be yourself. Like, just be the ultimate you you can be at all times. People will appreciate it. And love everyone, I guess. Yeah, just love everyone, you know? Um, treat people with love, treat people the way you want to be treated. And the world would be a better place. The world. Yeah, I, I can say, I can say. Yeah. So I hope that was 30 things that I just listed because I really don't know. I didn't number it. I did around 30 ish types of things. If I'm missing any guys, leave your comment down below. What's one thing that you've learned? before 30 or 30 things you've learned. You can make the list complete, comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you wanna see more videos like this and comment down below, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see me do in general. All right guys, so this is me signing off. I am done my makeup, it looks really good. Um, what do you guys think, is it nice? You guys like it? All right, guys. Love you. Bye.